Hi, it's Dr. Sabrina Siegel here, and welcome to Brain Myth Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about a brain myth that drives a lot of neuroscientists crazy. It's the myth that you're either right brain or left brain. Neuroscientists don't actually know where this brain myth comes from, but it's very popular in that it's infiltrated many different fields from philosophy to psychology to popular media and even marketing. One of the reasons that this myth really bothers me is because I feel like it's very restrictive in terms of labeling people or placing them into a category and saying that this is the way that their brain functions, period. And most neuroscientists are aware that we have many different individual differences in terms of cognitive processing. This myth suggests that if you're right-brained, then you process things emotionally, that you're a very creative thinker, but that you're not capable of really applying logic or analytical thinking. Then it, of course, if you're left-brained, then you are considered to be a very analytical thinker and implementing logical thinking as much as possible. Neuroscience has shed light on where these two processes occur in the brain, and they happen to occur in both hemispheres. This myth suggests that these two cognitive processes are actually in conflict with one another or that they can't coincide, when in reality, we often use both of these types of processing to make important decisions. One useful tip that I'd like you to remember is that there are different brain regions that control different cognitive processes, and those brain regions may or may not be more or less active in one hemisphere, but you're always using both hemispheres of your brain. So an example of this is that language is typically processed in the left hemisphere for most individuals, but not everyone. Conversely, mathematical processing is typically conducted in the parietal lobe, which is in both hemispheres of the brain. Whenever you come across a brain myth, such as this one that's particularly restrictive or labeling in terms of cognitive processing, I'd like you to be especially wary. Thanks for tuning in to Brain Myth Monday. See you next time.